Hey guys, this is Michael. I'm with Kenzie. We're in Kentucky on the Green River, running trot lines, limb lines, and we just threw out a jug, a jug line. Um, we're changing it up a little bit, guys. We moved everything up the river. We got two trot lines out, both of them across the river, and we got five limb lines. One of them down here and four of them up there. And the jug is being sponsored by our first sponsor ever, Solid Solutions. And all five limb lines are being sponsored by Kentucky Brush, one of our other sponsors. There are going to be four prizes for the point person. Uh, I'll go ahead and say a uh, day at the spa, two tickets to amusement park, a dinner for two, or $50 cash on the spot. Uh, the rule is uh, if any fish caught on the jug, will they can pick one of those prizes, and any flathead caught on one of the limb lines, they can pick one of those prizes. And if they catch something on the jug, the fundraiser total will double. So wish us some luck. And we bait it with a mixture of goldfish, uh, some crawdads, a little bit of skipjack, and I think we threw on at least one worm out there. Again, she has to catch a flathead on the limb line to get a prize, but all fish count toward the fundraiser, just like normal. Except if we catch one on the jug, then it doubles our score. Da -da. Just to make it interesting. And to do a little advertisement for Solid Solutions and Kentucky Brush. And the crawdad is still on there. Go ahead and throw it out. All right, now we're going up to the real area. We've got a boat here. The water temperature, guys, has creeped up into the 60s finally. It's about 61. Yeah, it's not freezing today. Well, the water temperature, the air temperature is like 80. It's dropping though. It'll probably be cold before we get out of here. But, but I like to fish from the 60 to the 70 degrees. It's almost like this branch was meant for a limb one. Yeah, it's perfect. I made it just for you. <laughs> no spiders at all on that one. Uh. Oh, we got something. Oh, you got something. Yep. First fish, get her in the boat and we'll, we won't be skunked. Oh, a channel cat. Nice little channel. Didn't, wasn't a flathead, but it counts for our charity, guys. Ten, a hundred, a thousand. a thousand. This is a ten. That was a channel cat. It wasn't a small channel either. It's yeah, pretty decent. Yeah, okay size one. I think I put a crawdad on that one. Crawdad didn't disappoint. Nothing on this one. Oh, right, got the bait though. Where's the next one's at? There's two around the corner here. We got all four near this big rock formation. Water's dropping, guys. The conditions are about right. Getting close, anyway. All right, there's definitely a fish on that one. Oh yeah. Let's see about this one first. We got a tree shaker over there. This one, I can't tell. I doubt it, but maybe. It Old school like fishing guys, some people still do it. No. Nothing? Just no. don't worry about it. All right, this one, it was jumping up and down when we first came through. Hope I can, oh yeah, see that fish here? I'm so excited. It could be big. I think I put a goldfish on this. I got a back eddy too, so. Ooh. You got any size? Oh my god. Yeah. 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 Hold on. There's a net there. Oh. oh. That's a flathead! A flathead! You know what that means. You, I get, want, you get a choice of four prizes. I want the spa day for sure. A day at the spa. What are the chances that we would catch a flathead on the 
first time. That, <laughs> I, they asked her, like, what is a mythical fish? And I was like, a flathead. We don't catch them all the time. <laughs> I do. I told you. That's right. I told you. And there is no limit. So, uh, you know, next time you come, we can do it again. Awesome. This is until the end of the fundraiser, guys, until the end of June. Well, I was hoping this wouldn't be directly in the sun. We turned this line, if y'all remember the last videos, the wind was so aggravating that we decided to turn it and go across the river. But the sun is definitely right here. It's okay though. It just makes Kinsey a little brighter. Yeah. I owe you a question, Kinsey. Uh, okay, ask it. What's a, what type of music do you listen to? All of it. All of it, what's the last? type of music you listen to? Probably rap or rap. country. Is that what you, you listen to while you drive? Yeah, I have a subwoofer, so it makes it, I gotta listen to rap. Oh, oh, we got a fishy. It's a channel cat. Ew. All right, we're. Am I going the right direction? I feel like something's weird, something's off. No, you're good. You I was starting him. to wonder if he was dead or not, because he wasn't moving. He's hanging out. Oh God. In the boat. Kaboom. It's, it's a small one. Have you ever hitchhiked? No. Never hitchhiked in your whole life? No, that's scary. I'm a girl. We're not allowed to do that. Mm. Fortunately, I did not think that this would be in the sun as much as it is, <laughs> but it is. Right in the sun. Right. Oh. There's another fish. A bunch of small ones. Although I was happy to see that uh, flathead. I was too. Now the small ones usually bite in the spring right before the big one. Let's we'll see. He's honking. What's the book, last book you ever read? Oh God, that's been a minute. What is the book um, that you remember that you liked? Go, go, go. Well, um, trying to think. Uh, I liked all the books that we had to read in school for like classes, like the ones that we had to. Yeah. I liked all of those. That's cool. Uh, I'm trying to think of a time, like, I don't know, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. We put this line out yesterday and it was overcast, so. Although it'll be all right. I'm wanting to see a big old fish. Me too, but. And if you're just joining us guys, we're doing like a fundraiser. We do it every spring and we get paid by the fish by some sponsors and we're putting up some of the money ourselves. <laughs> you got a big one? Yeah. Uh, $10 for fish under 10 pounds. Yeah, it's a big one. $100 for fish Do you see over. it moving the lawn? Yeah, there's a net back here. I'm gonna need it. And there's a clip right there. $100 for fish over. Holy shit. Just, Help. Okay. just let, him, let him be, uh, let him wear himself out if he's very big. I can't quite see him. Uh, I don't see him either. Oh yeah, yeah I do. Oh, it ain't that big, I, think, I don't think. I think it's a big blue. I think it is big. Yeah. I don't no, think it's I, that big. I thought I saw a tail. I think it was his head I was seeing. <laughs> He's a monster. He ain't a monster. No, you don't need that. Well, yeah, you can use it. I always use an net, I guess, but it's uh, just a lot to untangle. That current is still pretty strong, so it's pushing on that line, making everything feel heavy. Yeah. But it should go down tonight. Barren River is finally going to stop. Well, do you cook very much? Hell no. Hell no. What do you, what is your Last time I tried cooking, I cooked hamburger helper. Forgot that hamburger meat had the little blood thing on it. Threw it straight into the skillet and about caught my house on fire. <laughs> so, you don't, you don't cook a whole lot. No, it's just, it's just me. So it's like really wasteful if I do cook. Uh, yeah, I understand that. That's, That's a, a healthy, pretty good one. Healthy, it's not, definitely not 10, but. He was pulling like he was 10. Yeah. All right. Again, guys, we put a mixture of bait on here and this was all set up to get ready for the big fish to start biting and they will, hopefully. Hopefully.
I think we got 12, 12 hooks on this, 12 hooks on the other line, five limb lines, and you saw us throw out the jug in the very beginning. That was sponsored by Solid Solutions, the Tile and Stone Company. They're, uh, they serve the Warren County and greater surrounding area, as does Kentucky. Does it go Brush. fish count? <laughs> New. All right, so we caught a few fish on that line, nothing huge, but we are catching fish, that's for sure. I don't know if I owe you a question or not. I don't think I do. <laughs> what is the last movie that you liked? I don't really, I'm not, don't I don't really watch, watch movies. I fall asleep. Do you uh, do anything? No, I don't actually. I work and I go home. That reminds me, Kenzie forgot about me today. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> We're supposed to go make this video and I show up at her house and she looks up like, who the hell is that in my driveway? <laughs> it really threw me off. I was really like, who is that? Like, but what? She, still, she still came. Here we are out on the Green River. <laughs> This line is in some deep water, very wide part of the river. I'm moving this so I don't get stuck on it again. You don't have to have it. You can put it down. It's just to hold the line if you need to. I just started using that a couple years ago. I usually don't. I used to have a smaller boat and I could use the paddle. I know some of you may be asking, you know, sometimes we keep the fish, sometimes we don't. It depends on who, what the demand is. I don't currently oh. have anybody. Ah. But we've Tree. figured out a reason to fish. It's kind of fun. Now this one did hang up whenever we were putting it out, but it came out. So if it gets real tight, we'll have to finagle it. I think if you sit on one side of the boat or the other. You think like, it's better to sit on this side? Because it's always this try side. Try that one. Try that side. Huh? That side. Well, that's... It'll rotate the boat. Maybe it's the other side. Try the other side. <laughs> I can't remember. Some... I, I just feel like it's it. always that side. Yeah, that's it. So it comes, makes the boat sideways. Okay. Oh, God. Hello. Is it a big one? No, it's just a flathead. Just a flathead? No. Uh, uh, ah! Oh, ah! Lost him. <laughs> Although that's not a good sign. I think he broke my brad. I put brads on this. Just keep going. My fish. I may have to clamp them down a little harder. My fish. That's all right, man. That's part of the game coming off. That I, was, was, I was on the street. That was a channel though. cat, by the way. Huh? That was a channel. Was it? It was dark. I just figured. Yeah, some of them are, but yeah. it's just shape. The shape you should be. The flathead kind of has a well, distinct. Well, it looked like a flathead under the water. I never seen it above the water. Distinct shape it has kind of a flat head. That was close enough to a catch that I can ask you a question. Now, let's see here. What's the worst date you've ever been on? <laughs> um, all of them. All of them? You've I've been dating been... lately? No, hell no. It's a waste of my time here lately. A waste of your time. Just working and forgetting about me. Working, working, working. Got a new position at work, so been very, very, very busy. So what in general do you do? What do you mean? Like outside of work? No, at work. Oh, uh, I'm the team lead over the frozen and dairy departments. So. Team lead, huh? Yeah. You got, you got people working under you? Yeah. So yeah, you so it's always with, fun telling them what to do, you know what I'm saying? You work with decent people? Yeah, yeah. Got a, got a couple good ones. That's good. A couple that call out all the time. Not, typical, typical people. Yeah. You know? uh, I work with pretty decent people myself. I work with a bunch of older people, so they're pretty chill, easy going. Yeah. But I work with a lot of kids too, and there's they a, don't like to show up. There's a little fish rolling over there. Yeah, let's see if let's, we can lose him too. Let's see if we can get him in the boat. That way we didn't get skunked on this line. Is this the last hook? Uh, there's one or two more past that one. 
Oh, not bad, not bad. Kenzie, what's your favorite thing about being on Hook, Line, and Chill? Um, the fish. The Duh. fish? No, there's got to be more. No, it's, it's literally, I like catching fish. The thousands of views that you get, the comments. They're okay, I mean, it's nice. The free dinners it's a nice afterwards. Plus, and it's definitely the free dinner. The free dinner is <laughs> definitely number one. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure that's it on this line. Uh, we've done well, but there is the jug to go after. And again, if we catch something on the jug, our score that we've accumulated for the charity will double, and she'll win another prize, so stay tuned. Now, I wish I could tell you guys that we just drove down here, but we've been looking for this jug for a while. I didn't think it could have went this far, but this current's going a lot faster than I thought. Doesn't appear to have anything on it, but you never know. We're gonna be throwing this jug as much as we can oh. for the next uh, 11 episodes. The leg don't went to sleep. That's how long we were looking. If you for. missed it, we're doing 22 episodes for the fundraiser. We changed it from 15 to 22. Mm. <laughs> Is the worm still on? Yeah. Yes. Cool. Sad day. It's okay though. And guys, we're raising money on the donate button. You're welcome to Ooh. click that anytime you want. Five dollars is greatly appreciated. But for every thousand dollars that you guys donate through the end of June, we are going to do some type of task that. You a lot of you guys uh, submitted at the beginning of the year. We just crossed 5,000, so we gotta do number five. In this bag is a lot of weird things to do, a lot of uh, funny things to do, and uh, here in about a month, we'll start doing the ones where we gotta get wet, but right now it's too cold. Just pick one, and we're doing it at the end so that we have a chance to prepare in case it's something hard to do. Sing, someone's gotta sing. 